I'm going to go through the master programming of our NXP controls. This is really where it opens the door and gives you all the functionality, gives you all the, the things that you can do to make this, this controller, make the valve do anything you want it to do. The, to get into the master programming, we used to have a scheme where you needed to go and get to set it up in order to press buttons and then go to another feature, another setting to make it get into master programming. But the NXT, it's very easy. To get into master programming, you just depress the up and the shift button, and that's this left pointing arrow. You press both of those together, again, for that five to six second range. You don't have to change the time of day, and then you get into master programming. First selection is, again, what language do you want the controller to speak? There are a couple choices in there. English and Spanish are probably the most commonly used, but there's also, if you're shipping the valves, are you shipping these systems overseas, Brazil, it has Portuguese, and so forth. To go from step to step, just like the user level programming, we're going to use the extra cycle button. Now I'm going to depress that and release. And the next step it's going to ask for is what system type do you want it set up for? Any single tank system is a system for. So if I just have this valve set up on a backwash filter, a single softener, I'll, I'm just going to set it up as a single unit. Any number above four is when you get into the multiple tank units. I'm going to talk about, uh, well, system five would just be valves on line handling water. System six would be a sequence regeneration. So when a unit comes down, it backwashes this one, then it backwashes two, then it backwashes three, then it comes back online again. System seven is an alternating set, much like our twin tank valve. And then system nine would be three, four tanks online with one in standby. So we're kind of amping up, we're taking system seven to the next step. I'm going to stick with a system four, because that's what we have. We have a single tank. So system four is a single unit. I'm going to go to the next step. I can set up my system four to regenerate in a bunch of different kinds of ways. This one is set up as time clock delayed. It's going to go off of days, and it's going to go at a specific time of day. That's what delayed is. I can set it up for immediate, so it's a meter immediate. When it counts down to zero, it goes immediately upon it hitting zero. I can set it up for a meter delay fixed reserve. So it counts gallons, but it doesn't regenerate until it hits a particular time of day. And it sets a specific amount of gallons aside. And I'm going to work my way back to time clock. So I can go off of days, or I can go off of demand. I can go off of a time of day, or I can go off immediately. Let's set ours up for... I'm going to set this unit up for a metered fixed reserve. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to count gallons and it's going to go off at a particular time of day. It's going to regenerate at a particular time of day. Once I've set that, again, I hit the extra cycle button. The next sec selection I'm going to be faced with is what kind of valve type it is. Now, in the recent past, we've actually made it quite a bit easier to identify what kind of valve it is. On new valves coming from Brookfield, from Fleck, you can look at the serial number, and on the serial number there will be a model line, and you can refer to the model line to tell you what valve you're looking at. In the past, for valves that have been in service for 15, 20 years, 10, 15, 20 years, really we depend on the knowledge of what size valve it is and re referring that to what the valve model is. We make a one-inch valve, so if you have one-inch plumbing connected to the valve, brass body, it's a 2750 inch and a half is the 2850, two inch single piston valve is the 3150. Any valve that has two power heads, it's sitting on top of each other, two inch valve would be a 2900 and the very big, the very big valve, the three inch valve is the 3900. So those are the choices that we're going to have when we, when we set this up. This is a 2850 valve. But you can see as I scroll through this, there's the, all the other choices are there. And it's very simple just to go through and set it up. There's also some selections involving valve nests. I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm just going to stick with the, with the multi-port flex valve.